Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from some applications of trigonometry chapter, which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and second sub questions are for one mark, and the third sub question is of two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first question now. A throne was used to facilitate movement of an ambulance on the straight highway to a point P on the ground where there was an accident. The ambulance was traveling at the speed of 60 km per hour. The drone stopped at a point Q, 100 meters vertically above the point P. The angle of depression of the ambulance was found to be 30 degrees at a particular instant. Based on above information, answer the following questions. Represent the above situation with the help of a diagram. Now here we have been given a situation where there is an accident which has occurred at point P and a drone has been dispatched to see the condition and the drone is facilitating the movement of an ambulance which is moving towards the point P. Now the speed of the ambulance is given as 60 km per hour and this drone stops at point Q which is vertically 100 meters above the point P and from there the angle of depression when it looks at the ambulance is 30 degrees. Now we have to represent this information through a diagram. So let me draw the diagram over here. So here we have shown the position of the drone, the accident site and the ambulance. So the drone is at point Q, the accident site is at point P and the ambulance at any instant is being considered as point R and the distance between the accident site and the ambulance is considered as D meters and the drone stops vertically above the point P. So we have drawn a straight line from point P and the distance between the drone and the accident site is 100 meters. Now they have given that the angle of depression of the ambulance was found to be 30 degrees at a particular instant. So here we have drawn a line of sight from the drone that is QS. So if you are looking straight, this is called as line of sight. And from the drone, if you look at the ambulance, angle of depression that is looking downwards, the angle made by the drone with the ambulance is given as 30 degrees. So here we have written 30 degrees. And the line of sight QS is parallel to the distance between P and Q. So angle SQR becomes equal to the angle QRP, that is alternating angles of the two parallel lines. So here we have written angle QRPS 30 degrees as well. So this represents the answer of our first question that is representing the above situation diagrammatically. So all this information needs to be shown. Now let us move on to the next question. Find the distance between the ambulance and the site of accident that is point P at the particular instant. Use square root of 3 is equal to 1.73. So let us consider the diagram we had got in part 1 of this question. So here we need to find out the distance between the ambulance and the site of accident that is point P. So we have to basically find out the distance between PR. So for that let us consider the right angled triangle QPR. Now here we have the angle 30 degrees at point R. So the side opposite to the 30 degrees is going to be PQ. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to 90 degrees is QR, so this becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side, that is side PR. And here, since we have been asked to find out the distance between the ambulance and the accident side, we do not need the hypotenuse. So here, we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio, tan. So tan of angle R is going to be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now angle R is given as 30 degrees, so we have written tan of 30 degrees is equal to, now the opposite side is PQ over the adjacent side is PR. Now tan 30 degrees is a standard angle and its value is going to be 1 over square root of 3 is equal to, PQ is going to be 100 meters over PR we have considered here as D meters. Now here D multiplies with 1 giving us D equal to, now square root of 3 multiplies with 100 giving us 100 times square root of 3 meters. Now here since we have been asked to use the value of square root of 3 as 1.73. So we are going to multiply 100 with 1.73 giving us the distance between P and R 
that is d equal to 173 meters. So this is the distance between the ambulance and the accident site. Find the time in seconds in which the angle of depression changes from 30 degrees to 45 degrees. So here we have considered the figure which we had drawn in the previous parts of this question and there will be some slight changes over here as it is mentioned that the angle of depression changes from 30 degrees to 45 degrees. So here at point Q we had the drone, at point P was the accident site and at point R we had the ambulance. So initially the angle of depression of the ambulance from the drone was 30 degrees. So we have marked it over here. Now from the 30 degrees the angle of depression changes to 45 degrees. So as the ambulance is moving it keeps on moving and it reaches let's say point A. And when it reaches point A, the angle of depression from the drone to the ambulance becomes 45 degrees. So here angle SQA becomes 45 degrees. And since the line QS, the line of sight, is parallel to the line PA or PR, the angle QAP also becomes 45 degrees. So we have marked both the angles over here. Now once we have marked the angles, the distance between the drone and the point P stays the same. That is the vertical distance that was 100 meters. Now in the previous part of this question, we had found out that the distance between the point P and point R was 173 meters. So we have marked it over here. Now since the angle of depression has changed, that means the position of the ambulance is changed. That is we considered the ambulance is at point A now. So let us say that it has already covered a distance of x meters from point A to point R. So the remaining distance the ambulance has to cover to reach to point P is going to be the total distance minus the distance it has already covered. That is 173 minus x. Now we have to find out the time in seconds in which the angle of depression changes from 30 degrees to 45 degrees. That is we need to find out the time taken by the ambulance to move from point R to point A, that is this time. So for that, let us consider the right angled triangle QPA. So in the right angled triangle QPA, we have to make use of a trigonometric ratio. So before that, let us find out the opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent side. Now at point A, we have the angle 45 degrees. So the side opposite to 45 degrees is PQ. So this becomes the opposite side. The side which is opposite to the 90 degrees will be always the hypotenuse. So AQ becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. So PA becomes the adjacent side. Now here in this triangle, since we have not been given the hypotenuse value, let us discard it. So here we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio tan. So tan of angle A will be equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now angle A is given as 45 degrees, so tan of 45 degrees will be equal to, now opposite side is PQ, over the adjacent side is PA. Now tan 45 is a standard angle and its value is going to be 1. So we have written here 1 is equal to, now PQ value is 100, over we have got the PA value as 173 minus X. Now let us cross multiply, that is 173 minus X multiplies with 1 giving us 173 minus x equal to 100. Now let us take negative x on the right hand side and 100 on the left hand side. So negative x becomes positive x is equal to 173 minus 100. So the value of x we get here is 73 meters. So we have found out the distance traveled by the ambulance from point R to point A as 73 meters. But here we need to find out the time in seconds. So for that let us make use of the speed of the ambulance which was given in the question as 60 kilometers per hour. But since we have got the distance in meters and we need the time in seconds, we are going to convert this kilometers per hours to meters per seconds. So remember that when we are converting kilometers per hours to meters per seconds, we have to multiply the given number by 5 over 18. So here we have multiplied 60 by 5 over 18. We will simplify this later. And since we need to find out the time taken by the ambulance to move from point R to point A, we have the relationship between time, distance and speed as time taken is equal to distance over speed. 
So here we had got the distance as 73 meters. So we have written 73 divided by the speed is 60 times 5 over 18. Now here the next step is going to be 73 times. Now this fraction flips upside down. So 5 over 18 becomes 18 over 5. So 5 multiplies with 60 and 18 gets multiplied by 73. Now here 60 and 18 go in the table of 6. That is 6 3 times is 18 and 6 10 times is 60. So 73 times 3 gives us 219 over 10 times 5 gives us 50. So when you go for the long division of 219 over 50, you get the time in seconds as 4.38 seconds. So this was the time taken by the ambulance to move from point R to point A. So this is going to be our answer. How long in seconds will the ambulance take to reach point P from a point T on the highway such that the angle of depression of the ambulance at T is 60 degrees from the drone? Now this question is very similar to the previous one which we did. So let me draw the figure over here. So here initially the angle of depression of the ambulance from the drone was 30 degrees. So here we have marked angle SQR as 30 and angle QRP as 30. Now the angle of depression changes to 60 degrees. So here the angle of depression of the ambulance we have marked as SQT because they have told us to take the point where the ambulance is as T. So angle SQT becomes 60 degrees. Now we have to find out how long in seconds will the ambulance take to reach the point P from the point T. That is we need to find out the time between P and T. So basically we have to find out the distance first. And here since the line of sight QS is parallel to the line PR or PT, the angle SQT becomes equal to angle QTP that is the alternating angles of the two parallel lines. So here we have got angle T as 60 degrees. So let us consider the right angled triangle QPT now. So here the side opposite to angle 60 degrees is QP. So QP becomes the opposite side and we have to find out the distance PT. So it becomes the adjacent side. So here we are going to consider the trigonometric ratio tan. So tan of angle T will be equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. So here now angle T becomes 60 degrees. So tan of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side is PQ over the adjacent side is PT. Now tan 60 is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3. So we have written here square root of 3 is equal to PQ value is 100 over we have considered PT as Y. Now here let us exchange the places of Y and square root of 3. So Y will take the place of square root of 3 giving us Y is equal to 100 over now square root of 3 comes in the place of Y giving us 100 over square root of 3. Now here let us rationalize this fraction. So we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 3 giving us 100 times square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3. So here we get the distance between the point P and T that is Y is equal to 100 times square root of 3 over now square root of 3 multiplied with square root of 3 gives us 3. Now since we need to find out the time taken by the ambulance to move from point T to point P we are again going to consider the speed of the ambulance which was given. So here we have written speed of the ambulance as 60 kilometers per hour equal to converting it into meters per second. We have multiplied 60 with 5 over 18 and the time taken is given as distance over speed. So here we have written the distance we have got it as 100 root 3 over 3 divided by the speed is 60 times 5 over 18. So simplifying this we get 100 root 3 over 3. Now the division becomes multiplication. Now this fraction that is 60 times 5 over 18 flips upside down giving us 18 over 60 times 5. Now here 3 divides 18 that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 6 times is 18 and 6 divides 60 that is 6 1 times is 6 and 6 10 times is 60 and 5 divides 100 that is 5 1 times is 5 and 5 20 times is 100. So we get here 20 root 3 over 10. So 10 again divides 20 that is 10 1 times is 10 and 10 2 times is 20. 
So here we get the time taken by the ambulance to move from point T to point P is 2 root 3 seconds. Now you can use the value of square root of 3 as well. So here we have multiplied 2 times 1.73 giving us 3.46 seconds. So either you can keep your answer this way or you can change it to decimals. So this is going to be your answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.